Hi, Jesus. Hi, Sailor Moon. Well, it's finally... Hold on. Sorry. That on. Well, it's finally that time of year. Yes, it is. Well, we finally get to celebrate your birthday. That's right. Um... Well, here is a question I was always wondering. How, um, what's your opinion of Santa Claus, and do you think that he should have anything to do with Christmas? Now, yeah, that question has come up a lot. But I do think Santa Claus does serve a purpose at Christmas. Yes, Santa Claus is the spirit of giving. He represents the... He represents... The spirit of giving, meaning that he is the incarnate, he is the example of giving to others. So he does have a place. Plus he is, he is the heavenly gift giver. And he happens to be one of my friends too. So I do think he deserves a place. Now, some people are going to claim that, you know, some people are going to claim or say that, he, he, he should <clears throat> have nothing to do with Christmas because he doesn't have anything to do with it, period. Well, that's the argument. If he represents the, the spirit of giving, then if you remember, I was received, I was given gifts on Christmas. So if he's representing the spirit of giving, then I have no problem with that. Because giving is a good thing. Hi, Jesus. Hi, Tuxedo Mass. So, it's good to see you again. Well, it's good to see you again, too, my friend. I was always wondering how we were going to eventually be able to fit this video in on our YouTube channel. And I guess somehow, some way, we're going to figure out a way how to fit it in. Yes, we are. Well, Jesus, I just want to say I respect you and I admire you for what you did. You know, when God had you, you know, when God brought you to earth to carry out a mission. You know, a mission, you know, to redeem everybody, give everybody internal life. Yes, because my father, God, loved human beings so much. He was willing to sacrifice one of his, one of his most presived, one of his most loved childs, and that was me. And everybody knows that. And when people are celebrating Christmas, that's what they're celebrating, my birth. Now, some people argue that it's not fair that everybody gives gifts and you don't. Well, that's what, that's what some people claim. Well, remember, I did get, remember, I did get gifts on my birthday from the shepherds, from the magi, if you remember. So people can't say that I did not get gifts. No, they're criticizing all the Christmases that come afterwards about how everybody gets gifts, but you don't. Well, they're entitled to their opinion. But when people are giving and receiving gifts, it is actually giving and receiving gifts to me because I was because remember the shepherds and the wise men gave me gifts on my birthday. So in a way that is representing me giving a gift or me receiving a gift. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, my neck. Hi, Jesus. Hi, Ernest. Oh, I sail Earth. Sorry. Finally got to meet you again. You know, and something happened. You know, people start, you know, 
I always had this bumper sticker that said, Keep Christ in Christmas. Because, but I think Santa Claus and you do have a very important purpose. Yes. Santa Claus does play a very important role. And so does me. Only I think, um, you know, my role was very important. Santa Claus's role is representing this, uh, the giving, the spirit of giving. So, yes. But it's not like, you know, it's not like everybody knows what Christmas is about. So, it's not like they have to worry about Santa Claus coming in and, you know, taking over what, the, what Christmas is about. But he is one of my friends. Yeah, I kind of figure that, you know, because you both have, um, you know, because um, because Santa Claus got powers, so I figured that uh, God gave him those powers. Yes, and God gave you powers too. Yes, that's true. Hi, Jesus. Hi, Sailor Jupiter. It's finally good to finally get to see you again. But I get to see you too. What happened? What? To your figurine. Well, I fell down one time and got cracked up. We had to use, you know, crazy glue and massing tape to keep that, that from happening. Oh, but then again, I guess that's what happens when you're a figurine. Um, I just want to say... That I love you and I respect you and I admire you for all the things you did, you know. Well, thank you, Sail of Jupiter. I mean, I really appreciate it. I want to say thank you for giving us eternal life. Well, actually, yeah, it was God and me working together that did that one. Well, I want to say thank you for God giving us eternal life for you, Jesus. Well, you're welcome. <clears throat> Hi, Jesus. Hi, Sail of Venus. How's everything? Everything's good. Well, can't believe your birthday's coming up soon. No, I can't believe my birthday's coming up soon either. So, when is it? Monday this year again? I think so. <sighs> How come there's tape on, on the bottom of... Oh, uh, well, I already explained the sale of Jupiter. I guess I'll explain to you. Well, you never I felt the funny figurines fell down once. We had to put crazy glue and tape to keep it together. Yeah. Yeah, I think my birthday is a Monday this year again. Hi, Jesus. Hi, Sailor Mini Moon. I just want to say thank you for everything you did. Give us internal life. You know, all the miracles you made. You know, and I always remember that Christmas is about you. You know, yes, yeah, Santa Claus is about Christmas too. He he represents the gift of giving, this, the spirit of giving actually. Yes, he certainly does, and he is a very close, personal friend of mine. And, well, you're welcome for everything that God had me do for you human beings, because God loved you human beings so much, he was willing to do all that. Hi, Jesus. Hi, Sailor Mercury. I just want to know one thing. Here's my question, Jesus. How come every different religion has a different opinion of you? Well, 
You see, that's really, really hard. But the Jews believed that I was important, but they don't think I was the son of God. The Muslims believe I was important, that I was one of God's, you know, prophets, but they don't think I was the son of God. And, you know, well, on its own, on so, the Buddhists think that I was a good person, but, you know, they can't find any evidence that I was the son of God. And, you know, and as far as the Sikhs and the vile faith are concerned, I'm not sure what their opinions on me is. They don't think I'm the son of God. But, Jesus, when you died on the cross for all the sins that all human beings committed, because God loved us so much, everybody was saved. And that includes the ones who believe and the ones that don't. Yes, that's true. You know, even if they don't believe, I was still, even if, I, even if they don't believe, you know, that I was the son of God, I God still saved them that day. And that's pretty much what I thought. Well, thanks. Yeah, some will disagree with that. You know, hi, Jesus. Hi, Salem Mars. How are you doing? I'm doing fine today. Well, I just want to say happy birthdays and know that this isn't going to happen until December 25th. And I just want to say thank you for everything you did, everything that God did, everything you did. Well, you're welcome. And, uh, yes, so a lot of us have to remember that, uh, that Christmas is about celebrating your birth, you know, that I think some people out there forget the reason. Well, I don't really think that people forget the reason, you know. I don't really think there's any way that people can forget the reason. At least if you're a Christian, you know that Christmas is about celebrating the birth of Jesus, me, you know, myself. And God, you know, because God was the one that chose me to carry out the mission because I was his son. Um, but to tell you the truth, I hop, but tell you the truth, everybody knows that Christmas is about celebrating my birth, so I don't see how they could forget it because of Santa Claus. Santa Claus is the spirit of giving. You know, he represents the giving. He tell he represents people and lets them know that it is more better to give than to receive. That he is the spirit of giving. And he does have his part. Well, God said it's time for you to return to heaven. Um, he does? Yeah, he did. Okay, sail of Pluto. Get ready to do it. Sailor, you Pluto time warp. 